The rise and fall of the yen is inseparable from Japan's economy. Once a global economic miracle, Japan later experienced the downfall of one of the world's largest currencies. Welcome to Do Academy. Today, we're delving deeper into the complexities of Japan's economic landscape, exploring the intricate dynamics associated with the changing value of the yen. In the 1990s, Japan's economic bubble burst, leading the country through three decades of economic stagnation. Recently, after years of struggle, the economy has finally shown some growth, accompanied by long-awaited inflation. However, since March 2023, the yen has suddenly experienced a decline, reaching its lowest point since the 1998 Asian financial crisis. The main reason for the continuous depreciation of the yen is the Federal Reserve interest rate hikes. The Fed's rate hikes resulted in a surge in the US 10-year Treasury bond yields, widening the interest rate gaps with the Japanese government bonds. Investors seeking higher yields opt for holding the US dollar over the lower yielding yen. This decreased demand for the yen has led to its depreciation. The chart shows the inverse relationship between the 10-year treasury spreads between the US and Japan and the US dollar-yen exchange rate. Let's start with the benefits of a depreciating yen. A weaker yen means that Japanese goods are cheaper in overseas markets, which can stimulate Japanese exports. Foreign tourists attracted by lower travel costs are more inclined to visit, benefiting the tourism industries. Additionally, Japan may experience economic growth due to long-awaited inflation. However, inflation brings its downsides, particularly import-induced inflation, where rising prices of imported goods like energy, food, and raw materials lead to overall inflation. This connects to the next drawback, a decrease in overall demand. Rising commodity prices affect consumer spending, causing people to tighten their belts and reducing overall demand. This is an undesirable state for any economy. Yen depreciation also results in a decline in asset prices, reducing the returns of foreign investment in Japan and increasing investment risk. As a result, foreign investment in Japan decreased, or investors might even withdraw from the country. According to data from the Japanese Ministry of Finance, the net outflow of foreign capital from Japan reached 12 trillion yen in 2022. Generally, Raising interest rates is a more direct approach to addressing currency depreciation. By increasing the currency's yield, investors can be attracted, boosting currency demand. However, the flip side is that raising interest rates can hinder economic growth and increase the risk of a fiscal crisis. This contradicts Japan's current situation as the country has the world's highest debt, making it unable to bear high interest rates. Furthermore, Raising interest rates goes against Japan's long-standing policy of keeping rates low. However, there have been speculation about whether Japan will raise interest rates and even start shorting the yen in order to make a big profit as it waits for a rate hike. Contrary to the long-standing low interest rate policy, the Japanese government has made slight adjustments to the interest rate, raising the upper limit of government bond yields from 0% to 0.25%. Additionally, the government has introduced a 1.7 trillion yen economic stimulus package to boost economic growth and increase demand for the yen. The government has also used foreign exchange interventions in an attempt to counter the yen's decline selling dollars and buying yen to influence the foreign exchange market and increase the yen's exchange rate. These measures have yielded some results, with the yen showing signs of recovery in December 2023. However, the yen exchange rate remains low. Japan's economy has faced prolonged stagnation and it took decades to see inflation. Many conventional monetary policies are unavailable to Japan to protect its budding economy, making it impossible to solve the yen crisis overnight. 
The future challenge for the Japanese government remains on how to improve the yen and the country's economy. Tell us, which solution do you think will have a more substantial impact on addressing the yen's current issues? Raising interest rates or having an active involvement in the forex market? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like, share and follow Do Academy for more actionable investment insights.